Hello, sports fans, sports better than you, Team Nation. John here with Rigget Picks. Coming off of a rough weekend. Uh, yeah, sports betting wise and personally. Listen, who's excited? Who is excited? Hit three YouTube plays in a row for you guys here. Didn't have one yesterday. Uh, like I said, kind of a, just a, a, a rough day overall. Anyways, um, who's excited for game three? Phillies, Astros. Who's up for it? Who's down? Who's down? The only thing I don't like about the Phillies tonight is Noah Syndergaard's pitching. Terrible. The guy has been just terrible since leaving New York. He was terrible with the Anaheim Angels. He has not been great with Philadelphia. And against that Houston Astros lineup, you need a good pitcher. Yes, you do. Um, Syndergaard, I just don't know. I don't know. I, I see a few people that I know um, on the nerfy. No run first inning. That's that's Anytime you got Syndergaard on the mound, man, that's just not good. I don't know. I lean Astros in that one. Um, I'm surprised that it's only minus 124 with them. I know they're on the road. I know they're in Philadelphia. I know that Liberty Bell is going to be rocking. I know that that park, uh, Citizen Bank, I believe they call it, is going to be off the chains, and it's going to be loud. And you got Bryce Harper on the other side. So, But Lance McCullers, he's not new. He's not new to the playoffs, the World Series, pitching in big games. Nope. I bet that guy's going to be as cool as cool as ass, as cool as can be. I don't like the Astros. Put the sour taste in my mouth to think they're going to win, but I think if you're going to bet the series tonight, you almost have to take the Astros just on the pitching master, matchup. At least, at least take the Astros' first five. Those are my thoughts on that. Anyways, Monday Night Football, Browns, Bengals. This is a, a clash, a rivalry, an interstate battle, intrastate battle, excuse me, Battle of Ohio, Cincinnati, Cleveland, Broncos, not the Broncos, the Browns. If you guys have ever been to Cleveland and been to a game, the dog pound, it can be brutal. Do not wear another team's jersey in the dog pound. You will have beer spilled on you. You will be cussed out. They will say all kinds of brutal stuff to you, and it doesn't even matter if they win or not. It's just how they are. Anyways, Joe Burrow, the Bengals, kind of been rolling. They, 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 they're four and one over the last five games. They lost to the Baltimore Ravens, nineteen to seventeen. It was a good game. Jamar Chase is injured for the the Bengals. Eli Apple's probably not going to play tonight. And a lot of people with those two out, they'll hit the panic button. Eh, I don't think so. Brissett, <clears throat> he's okay. He's going to manage the game, but he's not great. And the Browns, they're going to rely on Nick Chubb. If you don't think the Bengals know that, they're going to kind they're going to try to be as ready for him as they can be. Uh, Chubb and, and Kareem Hunt are totally different kind of running backs, but they, they just beat you out of that backfield. That's that's their game. But they've only won one of the last five games. So, here we go. It's going to be a great game, I think. Bengals favored by three. I tried to buy it down to two and a half, and it went from minus 120 to minus 145. That's 15 cents for a half a point. That's a lot. That's a lot more than it usually is. Usually you can buy almost a full point for that, sometimes a point and a half depending on on the matchup. But um, that, that just tells me they're expecting the Bengals to win this game by three or more. And the money line, usually when it's minus three, it's around 150. This is 175. It tells me I'm kind of on the right side of this. I think Burrow's going to have a nice, um, a decent game. And I think the Bengals are going to get the job done. Um, Browns are seven and three, uh, last 10 head-to-head versus the Bengals. But the Bengals are seven and three ATS. And when it comes to sports betting, we look at ATS, unless we're betting money lines, and we're not. I'm going ATS. I'm going Cincinnati Bengals minus three is your official Ricketts gridiron pop pick for this game. The Bengals just have a better defense. That's what I'm basing this off of. They only allow 18.6 points a game, where Cleveland allows 26.6. So almost a full touchdown difference. It is a full touchdown difference. My math is terrible. It's a touchdown and two-point conversion difference. So... I like that math. The math works out to the Bengals' favor. Bengals, minus three, minus 120, one unit. That's our official play. Hit that thumbs up button for me. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you've got. I'm always interested. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching this video. Hope everybody has a wonderful Monday. Not a lot going on in the sports betting world. But the games that you do bet on, good luck with your bets.